Hi, welcome to my channel. I recently purchased a used Tektronix 2465 oscilloscope off of eBay, but I did not have any scope probes, so I had to wait for what I thought was a good deal for some scope probes also off of eBay. So I'll find out whether that was a good decision or not, see if this works. Not to go off on a tangent, but real quick, I'd like to apologize for the last video I uploaded multiple times, uh, for those of you who are, who are already subscribed to my channel, uh, for some reason YouTube couldn't get a usable thumbnail from that video. Even though the video uploaded correctly, um, I don't know if it was the video, but I re-rendered it and that seemed to solve the problem. Uh, I think that in the past I've had videos render, but they would not play in Windows Media Player, and I think it was because of the Norton antivirus uh, automatic updates and it was probably just uh, too much going on uh, for the microprocessor to uh, a lot of heavy crunching going on there with numbers so I re-rendered the video and uploaded it and another option is uh, if you think you have a problem with the video you can upload it and keep it private and then make sure everything's working correctly and then go public with it uh, after everything seems to be working but I thought I'd just mention that real quick. So back to the oscilloscope. Uh, one of the things is, of course, buying a used piece of equipment, whether it's going to work. Uh, this seems to be pretty clean. It's a, it's a kind of relatively newer model. I think maybe this came out in the mid 80s. I'm not certain, but uh, it weighs about 20 pounds, so it's not really a, a heavy, older oscilloscope. So I did just check uh, Wikipedia and it says that this model was introduced in 1984. So let's turn this on. Nothing, nothing smoking. That trace isn't too bright. So I got four leads again off of eBay. And these are P6131. I believe these go up to 300 megahertz also. So I initially did not have a signal because it was positioned off the screen. That's why I could not see it. So it seems to be working. I've got my sweep. My channel seems to be working. I do not have a function generator but I do have a clock on the Heathkit digital trainer. And here's the clock pulse I have it hooked up to on my Heathkit trainer. And if we look here 1 divided by 10 to the 6 minus is equal to 100 kilohertz. We also have a feature here where we can measure a period on the waveform here. Delta T, you can see there, from the rising edge to the rising edge, we've got 10 microseconds. So now I can start looking at some signals and uh, hopefully start building some analog circuits, some op amps, transistor amplifier circuits, and be able to look at the signals. I need to get a function generator, uh, perhaps build one of those inexpensive kits that uh, I think it's all on one chip you can get off of Amazon or eBay. So this is the Tektronix 2465 300 megahertz oscilloscope purchased it off of eBay and so far so good along with the four scope leads I, I purchased separately so thanks for watching please subscribe and or comment now that I have an oscilloscope I can start investigating signals associated with digital and analog circuits